I'm off to meet someone who spent years saving £200,000 to buy the hottest car on the block. Wow, Nahla, that is amazing. 23-year-old marketing executive Nahla al rastamani is unique. She's the only Muslim woman with a Formula One license in the Middle East and the only girl on the United Arab Emirates race team. Even more radical when you realize in Saudi Arabia across the border, women aren't even allowed to drive. I've got to sit inside, I'm sorry. Oh, wow. Woo! I love Dubai. <laughs> Even at 140 miles per hour, Nahela manages to attract a lot of male attention. So they will kind of skid past you and just give you a signal like yeah. this. I felt like I was in a rocket. I absolutely loved it. The thrill of it beats buying any kind of designer shoe. I don't care. That was amazing. Do you think the guys are surprised when you see you, when they see you kind of driving up and uh, they see that it's yes, a girl? Big time, big time. They, so some of the guys were trying to stop me and not to race. They're like, "What are you doing? Slow down! Don't! You're gonna kill yourself!" And some of them they're just into culture and traditional and. Um, I just don't want to Boring. go through that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you say that, but at the same time, you're still maintaining your culture. You know, you're yeah, driving I around yes, in a shell and exactly, abaya. Exactly. So this is what I'm, I've been telling them. Like, I'm not insulting the culture of the situation because I'm, I'm wearing the shell. I'm wearing the abaya. Even, even if I'm wearing the overall and the helmet, my, my hair doesn't show. So I'm not insulting the, the, the traditional stuff. And are you happy to be wearing a shell and abaya? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> and as long as you're winning. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, Nahla. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was absolutely amazing. Bye. Wow, there she goes. I have a feeling she's going to get a bit more racing in tonight.